you know, but before we get started, we're going to turn face in the east and give all glory, praise, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shah, Ba'ashem, Rekha'a Kudash. Double honor to Apostle and Ears, the great meals, come with this rule well. This is how it takes to the whole world, and it's got the broad, preaching the truth and sincerity. So you want to say Shalom. Shalom. Salakia, but um, before y'all started, you noticed it was empty, and now you see the spirit on these people is kicking up. That spirit of let me go, let me go, uh, let me go buy some shit. Let me go, you know what I mean? Let me let, let me be a busybody, man. I got um, I got the definition for um, how y'all spoke on prophecy. I got this book from the '70s from this thrift store. Uh, it's the it's the it's the Holy Bible King James version, but they got uh, definitions in the in the back of it. Uh, this is prophet, a man called by Yahweh Shimei Shai to be his spokesman. Right. You no, know, and the scriptures speak on that. You know, the, the Lord using his service to prophet as his mouthpiece. You know? and, and and to um to prophesy um means to to say before you know. The same before it be happening, you know. This Luke chapter one and verse. Uh, that's another one. On this too. I get straight to Luke chapter one and verse seven, verse sixty-eight. It reads, "Blessed be your power, power of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people." And have raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. And you can break it down. Verse 70 it says, As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. Yeah, and if I may, you know what I'm saying? That, that's how the Lord visits you. The Lord gonna visit you first and foremost with the prophets, man. The prophets gonna come, they're gonna warn you. 
You know, they're going to they gonna, they gonna prophesy either some good things or some bad things, man. But that's how the Lord visits you, first and foremost, with the prophets. You know, and when the prophets have done their job, that's when the Lord come and reinforce what he told the prophets to say. That's right. And, 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 and that is the only person that, that's able to redeem us. You know, he's the only person that's able to save us. Your Martin Luther, Luther King ain't going to save you, man. Oh. Your Hugh P. Newton's going to save you. Oh. Your, your, what, 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 what the other was is, goddamn. Hoover? Yeah, him, goddamn. Yep. Your, 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 um, your Harry Tubman, your Malcolm X. Jesse your Jackson? Damn, Jesse Jackson. Yeah. Your goddamn, um, what the other guy from um, Birth of a Nation. You know, man, o only the Lord. Is, is, is able to come back and save his people, man. He's talking about fuck. Nah, he talking about the slave who led their people to run the field. Yeah, uh, I, I, I've Put got it. Um, hey. I've got it, man. I'm talking about the whole population. Yeah, we didn't get it. I'm sorry to end, though. Oh, uh, that's, uh, uh, damn. But, <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, man, hey, only the Lord is able to come back and, and, and gather his people, man. Yeah, I got one. It's, it's Acts 5 and 38. It says, and now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. Before this, for if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. And that's what that's what, it, what had happened, man. Huey P. New, Martin Luther King. All the rest of these joker we we name, man. Yeah. That shit came to naught, man, because it wasn't on the most high God, man. The most high God is all about prophesying, man, and bringing his truth out according to the scriptures. That's why the scriptures say they do not speak according to these according to these words, ain't no light in them, man. That shit gonna come to naught, man. You know, because you trying to creep in some other kind of way, man. You know, you you leading up to your own understanding, man. Of course, you know what I'm saying, the Lord put it in y'all spirit to revoke. Yeah, that was gonna happen, man. But hey, we living in the last days now. It's all about this truth coming out, man. Trying to teach our people repentance, get they shit together, man. Because the Lord is finna get ready to fucking destroy this fucking place, man. Now it's time to get the true understanding of salvation, redemption, right? The, the uplifting of the so-called black people, the so-called black Negroes, Latino, Native Americans. Yep. The true understanding of what we need to be doing. Yep. And it ain't fucking marching and begging the damn devil for reparations that he don't even have. 